Hello to my beautiful friends, and welcome back to a Sakura Dungeon. In the last episode, we had found another warp area, and we finally made it out of that very frustrating area that had all of the, um, the little trap doors that we were falling down, which is really nice. So, there's an event here I'm curious about. And once again, still wearing the hair up. It's like 80 degrees in my room right now. I'm very sweaty. I'm very gross. AC is not working so great. I live in Florida, so just FYI. Let us continue. Stop right there, says someone. Oh my god, she's so cute! I'm going to say that about every character, though, to be honest. She's a panda. I think. Yeah, panda. Panda bear. A girl wearing an exotic-looking dress steps in front of us. Two round, fuzzy ears sit on either side of her head. So what is this monster supposed to be? A panda. They're from my homelands. An interesting breed, to say the least. She is surprisingly cute. Hmm. Stop that! I am not cute! What's wrong with being cute, exactly? Damn intruders! I'll show you how cute I am! She lets out a threatening yell. I don't really want to fight her. Sorry, Siri. She's not going to back down. A panda? Ooh, she's level 27. Oh, so that means we will need Yomi to catch her. So, let's see. That uses 30. Let's go ahead and guard. A uh, shot. Okay. Dust blast. Not very much damage. That's okay. Uh, crystal spike. Oh, shoot! Guard. 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 Capture. Yes! We got her! We caught her! We have our own fuzzy panda now. I have never seen you fawn over a monster before. But this one is cute. Even if she tries really hard not to be. I cannot help but wonder if I should send you to negotiate instead. I would not be unwilling to do that. I swear I can see stars shimmering in her eyes. They're so cute. I hope that panda girl is ready for the amount of attention she's going to get. It looks like Siri has really taken a liking to her. Aw, that's adorable. Honestly, that's really, really cute. I'm glad Siri found someone that she likes. As we step into the next floor, it seems strangely familiar to me. Ah, I think I know where we are. Where? What's on this floor, Fox? If I remember correctly, this used to be the guest quarters. We had many rooms set up for our guests here. It worked like an inn for my homelands. An inn, you say? Inns? I have been to a number of them before I came here. There's not a better site for sore eyes than an inn. Merely civilized places on uncivilized roads for the most part. Not particularly welcoming of monsters, either. She gives a toothy grin. I would be afraid of me, too. Does this end of a fireplace? Well, yes, but not like you would imagine. Aw, I want to curl up in front of a fireplace. Siri looks all around her. This floor looks nothing like the ends I know. You must really learn to appreciate that things can be very different in other lands. Either way, as far as I remember... There may have been some warp stones in here for ease of transportation between rooms. I'd rather not step in a warp stone if I don't have to. What? They're perfectly safe, you know. We're only tunneling a hole through reality. I see. That is what makes me uneasy. What if this tunnel or whatever... it collapses? Then we would be lost in the void for several hundred years. But we would eventually make it back out. I don't think either of us can wait that long. After all, the Dungeon Lord has to be planning something. Yeah, she does have to be planning something. So, that's honestly really cool. That thought that there are different rooms and stuff. Another monk. Not quite as strong as the one we saw. So, you've met another on the path to enlightenment. Then you understand in the pursuit of true wisdom. We must now do battle with one another. Show me your wisdom so that I may drink deeply from it. Very well, Monk. I hope that you find the enlightenment you are looking for. I do not really understand what I could teach you. But I will fight you if I have to, Monk. Enlightenment can be found in everything. 
especially battle. Okay, she's level 26. Okay, that's right. She's resistant to that. Avalanche. Resistant to that. Shot. Perfect. Aw, oh, kitty. Oh, that's okay. Shoot her. Got her. I guess I should have caught her, to be honest, but I didn't. I didn't think about that. <laughs> Lucia, you're such a dunce. Dust blast. And then shot. Got her. Okay, so I'll have to catch the next one that we run into. Let me check one thing real quick. Let me see here. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So, oh, there's a room here. Damn it. Not again. And it looks like it needs a key. Then we will simply search this floor and see if someone knows where to find it. Then let's go find it. If we have to throw a few spells around to make it happen, so be it. The door is locked and the key is somewhere here. Darn. Ooh. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Looks like there's going to be a lot of different doors that we have to go through. Okay, this is going to be fun. Oh, another monk. Level 27. So, technically we can capture her. Let's use Crystal Spike. It's not going to do a lot. That's right, D-Shield. Um, Whirlwind? It's not going to do very much. Shot. We have too many magic users right now. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. That was not on purpose. That was an accident. <laughs> All right, shoot her. Dust blast. There we go. Shot. Took her out. Darn, we're just too strong. Medium dexterity seed. That is for range, isn't it? Range attacks, yes. Um, I really want to power up this cat. I really like the cat. I know I probably shouldn't have used it on her, but I think she's really cute. Ah, uh, another monk. Okay. Let's see if we can not fail this time. Hmm, crystal spike. D shield is going to absorb that. The whirlwind. Okay. Shoot. Got it. Here, go ahead and guard. Go ahead and guard. Are you gonna kill her? Damn. She's really strong with that shot. We'll get her eventually, once we stop killing her. Okay. Wow, there really are a lot of rooms, you guys. Cool. Destroy, destroy. Pew, pew, pew. Auto battles, yes. We got a claw slash scroll. Ooh, anything fun in here? Nope. Okay. <gasps> Ooh. Wait, is that a teleporter? What is it doing here? Ah, this must be one of those teleporters I mentioned before. But do you know where it leads? There's only one way to find out. After stepping on the teleport, we find we're in another room. Teleportation is strangely disorienting. At least this version of teleportation is. How exactly is it different in the Elven Metropolis? It turns off your senses for a split second, so you can move, you can more easily adjust. Whereas this kind of teleportation instantly takes you to another location and causes a slight shock to the senses. I'm glad I'm not the only one who thought that. So where did it take us to exactly? I cannot say. However, there is only one door leading out of this room and I do not see another teleporter here. So the only thing we can do is follow the path. Okay. So I guess we are going to be moving around a lot then. Ending up in mysterious places. This is cool. I like that it does get more advanced in some way, shape, or form. Okay. 
Okay. We're in this very wide room. There's a door on the side and a door in front. Oh, cool. We unlocked a door. And that just leads us back to the outside again. And we killed the monk. Let's try... Ooh! It's nice to see that the guest bedrooms are still being used. So people used to sleep in these kind of rooms back when you came f back where you came from? The richer ones did. It makes me feel sleepy just being here. As I say that, I look at the bed and notice a lump underneath the cover. Oh! It appears that this room already has a guest. Whoever is sleeping underneath the cover shifts around uncomfortably before settling in again. Perhaps she would know where to find the key. Well, we don't know who they are, or if they have anything valuable. Perhaps we should just leave them alone and move on with our quest. Psh. Rest is often a form of meditation for most people, so being disturbed in their sleep could aggravate them. A sleeping animal is one that cannot protect itself, so we should strike now and ask questions later. Aw, a catnap! Let's get rid of her so I can sleep there! As always, a cat's thoughts are very egocentric. Everyone, please calm down. We should not make any presumptions, as we do not know what is happening at the lower floors. If we interrogate everyone we meet, we might be able to find out even a tiny scrap of information. We have something far higher at stake here. If we have upset a few people, so be it. That does not mean we have to trample everyone we meet. We must do this the right way. Once again, whoever is sleeping seems to be annoyed by us speaking. Half awake, they speak up. Can you leave, please? I've had a long day. I just need a nap. Siri leans over and whispers to me. It's up to you, Fox. If you think it's worth bothering whoever is underneath the cover, then we will do it. I can save. We are going to bother them. Excuse me. I head over to the sleeping person. Wake up. She rolls over, trying her best to ignore me. I begin to prod her with my foot. She suddenly bursts out from underneath the sheets. What? What do you want? I'm trying to sleep here. I just had some questions I wanted to ask you. I don't care about your questions. I haven't slept in several days and I'm really, really tired. Did you wake me up just to bother me with questions? More or less. She pouts angrily at those words. That's it. I'm going to teach you a lesson. Her hands begin to glow with divine power. She flicks her arm and a paper, paper seal flips out of her sleeve. Let me see how the gods like your attitude. Level 28. Balls, we can't catch her. That's okay. Let's see. She's a resistance to that. Not to physical. Fire twist. No, okay. Thunder chain? Ooh, poison belt. Yes! Poison, perfect. Ooh, she hurt the kitty. Fire twist. Got her. <laughs> she looks really grumpy now. After being thoroughly beaten into submission, her clothes are torn to shreds. The fox Mika just sits there pouting. Well, are you going to answer my questions now? She just pouts even harder than before. You come in here, wake me up, then beat me for no reason. What kind of adventurers are you supposed to be? Does anyone have any manners these days? The archer simply draws another arrow and aims it. Don't even think about moving. I understand you've had a rough day, but I cannot tolerate you attacking my comrades. Come on. The tiger girl bares her teeth. Want to go again? Hey, could you move now? The cat <laughs> eyes off the tatami. That looks really comfortable. No, I'm not moving. Everyone seems a bit too eager for a fight. At least Siri is keeping a level head. I am sorry, but I believe that was necessary. After all, I had only wanted to ask you some questions. It was you who started the fight. How else did you expect me to react when you were being so rude? I don't care about your questions. Go away. Well... My mistress asked you to do something. It's usually a good idea to do it. Sylvie points her staff at the Miko, the tip of it glowing with energy. I suggest that you treat her with a bit more respect. 
Even after being beaten like this, she still remains defiant. Look, I'm sorry about all this. So, would you happen to know where the key is for this floor? Yes, I'm holding on to it. She pulls out the key and practically throws it at me. Will you leave now? Ah! Usually when we fight someone, they're guarding something or hiding some treasure. You have the key, what else do you want? Maybe something else? We can help- Oh, maybe something else we can help us? What? That wasn't proper English. Fine. I hid treasure in this room. If I give it to you, will you go away and not bother me again? That would be a fine deal, my friend. I am not your friend. She lifts up a hidden panel on the floor and reaches into it. Shock resistance seat. Sweet. Hey, are you happy now? Yes, this is a great boon for our journey. Good, get out! <laughs> oh no. We totally kicked her butt. I feel really bad now. We were so mean. Why we gotta be douchebags here? Um, shock resistance. Oh, we can give it to Siri because she doesn't have any shock resist. There we go. Beautiful. I wonder if eventually we could get our characters up to 100% shock resist. Oh, let me use a healing potion on the kitty cat. That would be so cool to be honest though. But I don't know if that's possible, so we will just have to keep wondering. Hmm. I guess we can't go the other way, so can we go out this door? Yes. Ooh, we can go in here too. Interesting. I like all the different ways that we can go. It does kind of bother me, like, a little bit, because I don't want to miss anything. And I know I'm going to, inevitably. That is the price that we pay. Let me see. I'm going to go this way first. Go up here. Ooh, another monk. Shot. Of course, you heard our kitty. Uh, Ice Slash. Okay, resist. Thunderstorm. Oh, dang. Wow. We're really strong. I think that's a serious problem. We're too powerful. Okay. Dust Blast. I should do, like, garbage damage. Okay. Guard. Um. Don't kill her. You gonna kill her? Nope. Okay. Maybe we have a chance. Capture. Yes! Got her. A monk on our side? When we are uncertain, she will certainly know what to do. Were monks common in your homeland? Not very. To become a monk, you had to surrender all of your possessions in the pursuit of enlightenment. As such, the only ones who pursued that path treasured wisdom above all else. I do not know if I could live such a life. Neither could I. Wisdom can be pursued in many different ways, after all. Cool. I like that. So we have one of those. Anything else in this room? Ooh, there's booby traps. We got an elixir. We did a good. Now the question is... Is it worth going across the trap to get over there? What do you guys think? Is it worth it? I'm gonna try something else. Like, namely, going. There we go, see? It wasn't gonna be worth it to do that. Ooh, another monk, but we already caught one, so we can auto battle now. Perfect. And monks are cool. She's not super adorable or anything, so it's not like a, we have to go get her kind of instance. But I do like that we got her. But we do need to get a panda. No, we already got one. That's right. I'm stupid. We were lucky enough to catch that panda. I just get overly excited whenever I see the characters. Because they're all so cute. Okay. Ah. No goodies. No more goodies. I get so sad. Okay. So then we go in here. Oh, that's strange. 
I would think there would be something here. We unlock the door. And we proceed. Ooh, we can go down the stairs. And now there's an event. Let's do our super save here. Perfect. I motion for the party to stop. Is something on your mind, Fox? I feel something beneath us. Siri looks at the floorboards. What? Is there a foe beneath us or something? No, it's deeper than this floor. I feel a massive accumulation of power. So massive that it might be... No, it cannot be that, can it? What is it, Fox? I do not know. My nervousness seems to make everyone else nervous as well. You simply cannot say things like that and brush it off as nothing. We need to know what we're going to be facing. As I said, I'm uncertain what it is. We are certain... When I... We are certain, then I will tell you. You worry too much. It's only... It's best only to care just as much as you have to. Or if you can say words. Yes. I'm uncertain as to how much I should care right now. I think I feel something too. Trust your instincts, Fox. They will tell you what you need to know. Instinct alone isn't enough. We must investigate further. Everyone, I must ask you to trust me. There are things I do not know yet, but as soon as I do, you will know too. Siri nods in agreement. That seems to be enough to make them grow quiet. I can understand your uncertainty. There are a lot of strange fluctuations in this dungeon's mana. As such, it's impossible to get a grasp on what is happening without seeing it with your own eyes. She nods thoughtfully to herself. It's almost as if this whole dungeon is unstable. Phasing in and out of another world. I motion for her to stop. Let's not speculate until we have more evidence. Now then, unless anyone has any further complaints, let's keep going. Surprising to think about, so... I wonder how much further we have. I'm guessing we do have quite a bit further in our adventure, but I could be wrong. Okay, there's another door that's locked. And then there's a vase at the end of the hall that we can bust. Take out this monk. Here we go. Good. The mechanical sound echoes through the hallways. We hear a ticking noise echo through the air. It's perfectly timed, matching our every step. What do you think that means? If I were to take a guess, it's keeping track of how many steps we're taking. What could that possibly mean? Oh, that's right. I remember now. What is it? The doors on this floor are on a mechanical timer. If we want to get past them, we have to get there within a certain time. What are we standing around for, then? Hurry up! Then we best make haste. We could just take a nice slow pace. No, we can't. The tiger girl stretches. I haven't had a good sprint in some time. This will be perfect. Hang on, running? Yes, right now! But I'm a mage! Too bad for you. Move faster. Don't worry. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, goodness. That's not good. I wonder. I don't know exactly what that means. I don't know if turning counts as a footstep or not. <laughs> I hope not. Okay. Ooh. Guess what time it is, Fox? I see something ignite in the darkness. A bolt of lightning erupts from it, barely missing us. It seems you're familiar with Mikos. But I don't think you'll win. The gods will favor me in this battle. They did not favor the last Miko we fought. Her faith could not have been as strong as mine. Hear me, lords of heavens. Grant me the strength to destroy those that will oppose your divine will. <laughs> Let us see if our gods favor us instead of you, Miko. Oh, she's level 30. Hot potato. We can't get her. 
after this is definitely need a grinding session for sure since we can't catch either of these fine ladies and I want to be able to catch them but I like how it's getting more complex dust blast you can't take her out darn I was hoping you could crystal spike got it now we just have the cat girl to worry about and I'll auto take her out okay how's everybody doing we're doing good. You're level 28. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Maybe we need more physical in here. So we'll stick the archer and Siri in there. Perfect. There we go. So I wonder how many steps we have to use to get these doors open. The ticking has stopped. A single loud mechanical click echoes through the halls. Damn it, we were too slow. Oh well, we'll simply have to try again then. We simply have to be patient. It's easier said than done. We should not waste time on this puzzle if we can help it. Well, let me find all the stuff first. This way I know where I need to go. I think that's a good idea. For the most part. There we go. Getting nice and strong. Yeah, because we don't want to waste time trying to find where the door is. Got her. Mana shards. We also don't want to miss lovely treasures like that if we can help it. Let's see. I think we'll probably fail this time too. What do you guys think? Let's see. We made it. I do not think I've ran that fast in years. So it's good exercise, isn't it? Very much so. I admit that that was fun to do that. It's certainly better than pitfalls and teleporters. I had suspected that a trap which tests your physical prowess would be more to your taste. Well, of course. I don't deal well with the supernatural or landing face first onto the wooden floor. Most people don't, Siri. All we can do is rise above challenges as they come our way. That was only a light sprint. So it's no wonder we did fine. That was fun! I barely broke a sweat! Ah, that's right. A cat can run really fast, provided they have the motivation to. The tiger lets out a loud yawn. That was boring. What we need is a proper hunt. Sylvie is leaning on her staff, trying to catch her breath. Siri just smugly grins to herself. I saw that grin. I'll show you in a minute. What's the matter? Can you not handle a light amount of sprinting? I can, just not very often. Now then, with that out of the way, let's see what else this floor has in store. Awesome. I wonder. Ah! Oh, healing potion. Beautiful. Let's see, you know what I might use? I might throw down a warding stone to see how much progress we could make in the meantime. So that door is locked, of course. That's always how those things go. We won't be able to catch ourselves a Miko for a while. Darn. I really want one, though. Let me see if I can... Oop! That fox archer might just die in this auto battle. Nope, she did not. So we will switch her out with Sylvie. Good, good job, good job. You unlock the door. Perfect. Making all these ways. Oh no, another one. Crap. Let's see. I won't really know which way I'm supposed to go yet, but I want to see if I can figure it out before we end this episode.
I probably won't, to be honest, though. Because I don't know where we need to go. Damn it. We were so close. Did you guys see that? Oh my gosh. We were so close. Oh well. I've got a lot of exploring to do in this hallway anyway. Let's see. You know what I might do then? Is we need to do some training. For sure. Because I need to be able to catch one of these girls. And I have a feeling we should get ourselves up to level 30. Before we continue to explore this beautiful dungeon. So... What I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this episode here, and next time we will pick up here. Hopefully going through that mechanical door, hopefully with a fox Miko in our party. I will do my best to get us one of those. And yes, if you guys are enjoying this, ser enjoying this series, please leave a thumbs up down below, leave a comment, and subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next episode of Sakura Dungeon. Bye-bye. Thank <laughs> you.